it is always hard. The 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 philo the great philosopher of history, uh, Hegel, used to say that the owl of Minerva flies only at dusk, meaning we can only really be aware of history after it's happened and we look back on it. And for that reason, it's a little bit hard for me to predict what will be seen by future generations as the most significant uh, clothing choices that we are making during this particular era. But for me, what stands out are two things. The first thing is the real power and dominance now of fashion as a big business. I mentioned earlier it's a $300 billion industry and in order to feed the beast, to feed the beast of fashion uh, magazines and fashion websites and advertising and fashion TV shows and makeover TV shows and all of the celebrity magazines and what are they wearing and in style, in order to feed that whole industry fashion has to change more rapidly than ever before. We've seen the introduction of uh, resort collections in between the regular fall, winter, spring, summer collections for designers, for couture, for ready to wear. Uh, but now we've seen interim, interim collections. And basically, designers are now under pressure constantly to be creating new things. And what that's resulted in, I think, aesthetically, that will be very obvious to people looking back at this period, is a an insane mashup of different period styles. Right now, we're in kind of an 80s moment with more inflated shoulders with a lot of leggings, with oversized sweatshirts, a lot of things that I'm horrified to see coming back because I'm actually for once old enough to remember having worn them the first time around in high school. So we're seeing the 80s come back, but we're seeing the 80s come back layered on top of 1950s and early 1960s mad men kind of crinolined prom type dresses and we're seeing it on top of 1970s fringe suede boots and all of this stuff is coming together uh, because of the fact that fashion has to keep providing and there's only a limited number of patterns and styles for fashion to keep going back to and recycling over and over again. Uh, a friend of mine, the uh, Vanity Fair fashion contributor Amy Fine Collins once said to me that those designers who don't understand history are condemned to repeat it. And I think now we're living in a moment when fashion designers don't have time to understand or to think about the history of what they're doing. They throw in some 80s because they just did the 70s a few weeks ago. And the 60s are coming back tomorrow because the 80s are about to be over and we need to keep selling more clothes. So I think that's one aspect that we'll notice when we look back on this period. And I think the second thing that we'll notice when we look back on this period that really represents a sea change in fashion and something significant about our era is this move from what they often call class to mass, which is to say that people who don't ever have a remote chance of showing up at a couture fashion show in Paris uh, are interested in fashion in, in larger numbers than ever before. They know sophisticated brand names, they have very sophisticated taste, a very sophisticated eye often, and so a lot of these mass stores like most famously H&M and Target recruit these big name elite designers to design mass collections for much less money, uh, made out of much less uh, luxurious material, sometimes with regrettable effect, sometimes with fantastic effect. But so what you see as a result of that is a big business booming around trying to provide higher fashion to a lower common denominator and then a wider dissemination of what we would have uh, even a, a few years ago called high style among a kind of a so-called lower demographic if you look at them purely in terms of income. So I think that's something very interesting and very hopeful that's happening right now is fashion is becoming more and more democratic by the day. And that, again, is something that I think is very, very specific to our era and something that will be remembered for later.